What's up? This is Matt from Bullet for My Valentine, and you're watching Loud TV. We've spent a lot of time, it's not secrets and stuff, you know, we just want to give it a good big rollout and, and, and make a big fuss about it, you know, we think it deserves deserves the fuss. It's been like 12 months in the making and, you know, all that's done and we're starting to talk about it and people are starting to listen to it and, you know, we just, you know, we've like got massive anticipation for it and we want to kind of build that and hype it as much as possible, you know. It's, it's a little bit longer than usual. Um, historically, we've done it like quicker than that in the past but you know this time around we just spent a lot more time writing it because we, we were trying to find something new and fresh and creative and more interesting than we'd ever done in the past you know so it obviously having five albums and the history we've got you know we, we're which is very conscious and very aware that we didn't want to do something we shouldn't do and we needed to be comfortable with making a bit of a, a direction change before we did it you know mm -hmm. Yeah, again, that, that's kind of the biggest sonic I think people will notice from this album to anything we've done in the past. We've just tried to elevate the band's sound and sonic to a completely different level. You know, and we, we experimented with layering different guitars and guitar sounds and stuff, but just, it just didn't have the same effect, you know. So we, we took that decision to start experimenting with, with synths and electronic software and stuff like that. And, yeah, it's an interesting experience. It's not something we've done before, so we were kind of learning as we went and just had some fun with it and get, got weird with it and freaked ourselves out with it and then got it to a, a place where it is on, on the album now, which doesn't really take over anything. It's just kind of layers of sound backing up the riffs and the drums, really, you know? So I think we've used it in a way which is won't freak people out too much. It's definitely there, you know, and it was something that we were very careful that we didn't overcook. But um, I think we've got a really good balance and it just like, like accentuates the band's parts even more. Yeah, well, we, we kind of showcased the band's abilities from Poison to Venom, really, you know, and we just didn't feel that we wanted to do that anymore. It just found, it kind of felt like we were treading over old ground constantly and it wasn't really going to propel the band to any new levels by writing that way anymore, you know. It's, it's obviously a part of the band which we hold dear in our hearts historically and stuff, but, you know, the the time felt like now to, to do something different and be brave and not worry about what people, we think people want to hear. It's what we want to hear and where we want to go. We write the songs and we, you know, we're the artists and it just was really refreshing. You know, it, it was it was hard because we, you know, we got a formula that had worked for many years and many albums. So, it's, you know, to ditch that, we didn't take lightly. And I don't think we've ditched it as such. We've just kind of evolved it. And it is a far more simpler record, but that was the point. It just gives everything a bit more of a bigger sound. It, it makes the vocals and the vocal hooks just shine through more so than ever, without distractions from loads of hectic parts and guitar solos and all that kind of stuff, you know, which is great. And we'll always have that in our set. But this album, we wanted to make it far more focused, direct, bigger, simpler, anthemic. And that was the way we did it. When you simplify things, things become very clear how good and bad they are. So having all that space to have the vocal do its thing it became very apparent how strong the choruses and the verses needed to be and the vocal melodies and the performance part, you know, because it's so open and the dynamics on a lot of the songs are so small and then big, you know, it, it just, it just helps the record flow. It's, it's a very hard thing to do, but, you know, getting the chorus right is, is the money shot in any song. And I think we've, on most of these songs, if not all, there's a definite chorus moment, you know, which, which is great. It's something that we've, strived to achieve for a very long time and I think on this album we've achieved that more than ever. Sometimes the simple things are not so easy. Ex that's exactly the simple things aren't that easy because there's nowhere to hide you know like right in like metal tracks that like we've done in the past and stuff it's easy just to just get fast and noisy and add delays and cr get crazy with it and you know the imperfections don't show really because you're just in the moment and that's great but when you simplify a song like Under Again off this new record, it's so simple and exposed, like the vocals, you can't hide, you have to, and it's a performance, you can't just stand there and sing it like a robot, you know, it's all about performance based, so to have that dynamic between verse and chorus, you know, is something that really shines on this record for sure.
No, not on this time. We just worked with Carl, who has uh, worked with Colin for the last few years on various records, including ours, Venom. Um, we just we just wanted a bit more of a, a younger direction and a younger person. You know, we, we wanted to make it a bit more contemporary, and we've worked with Colin so many times in the past, and he's amazing. Love him to death, and it's not like a we didn't want to work with him. We just thought for this sound and this direction, we needed someone who was on board with taking it to a a different level, different sound, a bit more of a contemporary edge, and add a technology which Carl is more than capable of doing. You know, he's got a good brain. He's very much aware of the programs and software you can buy to help make these things and sounds and, and stuff like that. So, yeah, we just work with Carl on this one, and it, it just sounds just as crushing to me. Carl's a guy that lives in Chesterfield in North England. Um, and, yeah, he's, a, he's the same age as me. I think he's like a little bit younger, maybe he's 37 or something. And he's just a great talent. He's a guitar player. He used to be a guitar player in a band called LaRusso and just got into music production and recording. Um, and he's done lots of really cool albums over the years, but he's got, I think he's got to a level now where I think we found a guy before anyone else kind of has. You know, we've, we've, we've cemented a relationship and we've created something together here, which we think is incredible. I mean, just can't wait for people to hear it, you know. But yeah, he's, um, he's a good guy. He's very switched on, loves music production. And uh, yeah, he's a good guy. Maturity is, is helping me make these decisions and stuff like that, not being younger. I think just being who I am and the age I am and the amount of time I've been doing this and things that have been going on in my life in the last two years, which is what the whole album is pretty much about, gives me a maturity and a, and a, a confidence to, to say what I want to say, even though it was hard to do and I didn't really want to put myself out there that much. You know, the younger side of me, that's, that's gone. You know, I can never be younger. I can just keep myself interested and motivated and happy as a as a songwriter, you know, and I think maturity adds to that braveness, not being younger, because that just adds to naivety and maybe complacency. <laughs> Absolutely, more so than ever. Like every, you know, most of the songs on this about, like I said, just what who I am and what I've gone through as a human being in the last two years of my life with certain things, you know what I mean? And, you know, I'm a human as, as everyone else is and it doesn't matter who you are, you, you still get down and, you know, I've gone through a really intense period of my life in the last two years, which I didn't want to share with anyone, but I thought I actually finally, for the first time in many albums, had something to say that actually meant something. So reluctantly at first I started to, but then once I started going through that process of, of writing it, you know, it was... Uh, a very rewarding thing to look back on now and it's a very important stage and part of my life which I've cemented now and I've got it out there for everyone to see which I've never done before you know being in a, in a rock band a metal band or whatever you you constantly have your chest out and your chin up and rah, on stage being that guy you know and this album is me showing that I'm quite vulnerable and emotional at times just like everyone else you know I think it's a it's a very it's a, it's, it's a good step for me as a person to write this record. Am I naked? Uh, basically, yeah, I mean, I'm putting it all out there for everyone to see and to, to judge and, to, and to, to give them a massive insight into my personal life, you know what I mean? Which is not an easy thing and not something I took lightly, but like I said, it was a, a moment in my life which I actually had something to say from the heart and went through struggles mentally because of what I was going through and stuff. And I think it's something that a lot of people will be able to relate to on, at some point in the record, you know, because everyone, feels like I was feeling at some point in their life and it's not a good place to be. You know? My marriage kind of went north, uh, south <laughs> uh, and it just took a big toll on me personally, you know what I mean? Like I have a family, I have a child and, you know, thankfully we've come up the other side and we're good and we're really close and good friends and we're still a family and all that stuff. But, you know, that period of being on a roller coaster, we're watching everything crumble around me while still trying to maintain the band's touring schedules and seeing what it was doing to my family and my little boy especially it was just a, a crushing feeling you know and that snowballed into kind of depression and stuff like that and yeah so it was a really intense period of my life which i never let anyone in to that extent and i didn't really want to but now i've come to the side and i've got this record and everything's good and i'm finally confident and feel normal again i think it's something 
to kind of to yell from the rooftops really that you know I'm a human being and I'm, I have moments of shit like everyone else you know mm -hmm. people's perception of of like people like with a profile like a like rock star or actor or whatever you know they seem like these untouchable immortal characters to the outside you know but everyone's the same you know what I mean and it's uh, it was a, a you know a really shitty period of my life which I didn't want to share with anyone let myself even I didn't want to write songs about me and what I was going through but you know ultimately it it marks like I said a really important poignant time in my life which I've now cemented on a record for everyone to listen to you know so it's uh, I'm really you know proud of myself and proud of the band for letting me have that and do that because you know it's not something I wanted to do but now we have it and it's all good <laughs> Yep, we've got a little US run coming up at the end of April. Festival run with some headline stuff in between. And then straight, got like 10 days off when we come back from that and then straight into Rock and Ring, Rock and Park. And then I'm doing like Hellfest, Download UK, Download Spain, Grass Pop, Nova Rock, all the cool European stuff, you know? So it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be a nice, fun summer. Summer Sonic in Japan, yep, in August and a bunch of stuff in between. and big US tour after that as well, which is not announced yet and stuff. And then obviously the U Europe European headline tour with the UK and maybe some Southeast Asia and a bunch of stuff thrown in for fun. <laughs>